this time, I'm going to talk about how to perform portfolio optimization and allocation with Python. We use modern portfolio theory in this video. Modern portfolio theory or mean variance analysis is a mathematical model and study for developing and creating a portfolio with aims to maximize the return for a given amount of risk. So, when we use modern portfolio theory, we are not only considering the return investor can get, and we are also considering the risk the investor is taking. How do we calculate portfolio expected return. The expected return of a portfolio is calculated by multiplying the weight of the asset by its return and summing the value of all the assets together. For example, if I have three assets here and the weight is 35%, 25%, and 40%, and the expected return for asset A is 6%, B is 7%, C is 10%. Therefore, the expected return of the portfolio is weight time weight and expected return for each asset and sum those up. In this example, the result is 7.85%. Then how we measure the risk of a portfolio? When we want to measure the risk of a portfolio, we consider portfolio variance. Portfolio variance is the measurement of risk of how the aggregate actual returns of set of securities making up a portfolio fluctuate over time. For example, if we have two asset portfolio, the portfolio variance will equal to the weight of the first asset and the standard deviation of the first asset. We time those up take the square and sum the weight of the second asset with standard deviation of second asset, take the square, plus 2 times first asset weight, second asset weight, and the covariance of the two assets. The first two items is summing up the variance of the two assets without considering their interaction. The third item is considering the correlation between the two assets. Then how can we measure the return of the portfolio and the risk of the portfolio at the same time. At this time, we use sharp ratio. The sharp ratio is considering the return of the portfolio versus the risk of the portfolio. When we try to calculate sharp ratio, we use the return of the portfolio minus risk-free rate and then we divide standard deviation of the portfolio excess return. So in the numerator, we will have excess return of the portfolio and in the denominator, we consider the standard deviation of the portfolio excess return. So, return of the portfolio, risk 
of the portfolio, we will consider them all together. When we try to find out the best portfolio for our investment, we consider efficient frontier. The efficient frontier is a set of optimal portfolios that offer the highest expected return for a defined level of risk or the lowest risk for a given level of expected return. So we will consider expected return and the level of the risk of the portfolio at the same time. Look at this graph. In the horizontal axis, we have standard deviation of our portfolio. In the vertical axis, we have expected return of our portfolio. This curve shows us efficient frontier. And then, we will draw capital allocation line, CAL, in this efficient frontier graph. We will take the risk-free rate at this vertical axis and take a tangent line to this efficient frontier curve. So this line will represent the best possible CAL, capital allocation I. Now, let's see how can we optimize our portfolio with Python. First, we need to import library Efficient Frontier. And then, we need to choose some stocks to analyze. In this example, I use Tesla, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, GE, and IBM. Of course, you can choose any stocks you are interested in. Then, from the website, I got some historical price data for those stocks. In this example, the time period is from beginning of 2015 to the end of 2020. For my portfolio, I have $10,000 to invest. For the stock weight, we are using the range from minus 1 to 1. If it's minus 1, that means we will short the stock. And if it's 1, it means we will long the stock. Let's see the result of our optimization. The result is we should buy three shares of Tesla, one share of Amazon, 19 shares of Microsoft, and short two shares of Facebook, short 82 share of GE and short 12 share of IBM. So that means previous three stock, Tesla, Amazon, Microsoft, are pretty good stock to invest, but for the other three, we should short them. So what happened if you don't have an option to short the stock. Then you can put the weight from 0 to 1. Let's see what we get if we cannot short any stock. Then we will say you should long 3 share of Tesla and 2 share of Amazon and 2 share of Microsoft. This is how I perform portfolio optimization and allocation with Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.